Okay, that's not bad. Um, <sighs> that seems crooked. Katon. You guys are going. That's pretty good. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an entire breakdown of my over $30,000 Roth IRA stock portfolio. Every stock, every fund that I'm invested in. I'm also going to be sharing with you the history of how I got started with my Roth IRA, my investment strategy for my Roth slash retirement accounts, and how much I've invested into my Roth IRA versus how much it's actually grown. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrian. I post videos every Monday on all things investing and personal finance. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go ahead and click the subscribe button below. It really helps to support my channel. And on top of that, it's free for you. So I just want to put a disclaimer out there. This is just personally how I invest. This is not necessarily how a financial advisor or a financial planner would tell you to invest. However, this is personally my money and how I invest and how I invest is going to be very different from you guys and that is simply because at the end of the day investing is so personal if that means you are more conservatively investing compared to somebody else like that's completely fine so my investments may be riskier than your investments but if that helps you sleep at night then keep investing the way you're investing i also want to say as i said in my last video that i don't have to be sharing all of this information it's very personal to talk about everything in my stock portfolio so i would really appreciate it if you guys did subscribe and Hit the like button just to show your love and i also as i said before do practice what i preach and i want to show you guys that i do that so with that said let's get into the video so first i want to give like a history of my roth ira so i opened my roth ira through fidelity when i was 22 years old after i graduated college i don't even know how i quite found out about roth iras i honestly probably remember learning about it through dave Ramsey's class that i took when i was in college but one mistake that i did make was that I didn't know what a Roth IRA was until I was probably 22 and I worked jobs in college where I was making money and I invested that money but I had no idea what a Roth IRA was so I was investing all of that money into a normal brokerage account as opposed to a Roth IRA where whenever I take it out it would have been tax-free that was probably one of my biggest investing mistakes if you are just starting out working please don't make the mistake that I did I know a lot of people have made that mistake I have maxed out my Roth IRA every year since I got it that is from when I opened it in 2017 that was I think back then it was $5,500 and now it's up to $6,000 that the limit of your contributions is maxed at all of that money I funded through side hustles so I was working a normal job and I was using that money as like cash flow in my month-to-month -month expenses but everything I was making on the side through like babysitting I dog sat I honestly like any small thing all of that money I collected and then I invested it into my Roth IRA so it didn't really affect my normal month to month cash flow and I also want to note that I rolled over a 403b last year in 2019 I rolled over uh, I was between four and five thousand dollars I rolled over from a Roth 403b into my Roth IRA because I switched employers because of the amount that I had it was too little to keep in that account so I was required to roll that over which actually ended up being advantageous for me which I could talk about now. So basically when it was in that account, it was under a financial institution that was with my employer. And typically with employers, they have they have fewer index funds you can choose from, mutual funds, etc. But when I rolled that over into my Roth IRA, I could invest it into whatever I wanted to. That's just my experience. I don't know if other people have also had that experience. So I have my laptop here. This is a pie chart of every stock and index fund and ETF, etc. that I'm invested in within my Roth IRA. My Roth IRA makes up about a little bit more than 30% of my entire stock portfolio. Okay, I'll go through each of these one by one, starting with the biggest one, which is VTI, is Vanguard's total stock market index fund. Within my Roth IRA, it makes up 65% of the funds I have invested, but this $20,000 makes up about 20% of my entire stock portfolio. VTI was the first thing I ever invested in. When I I started investing usually if I ever have money and I'm not 
super bold in one direction to invest in a certain thing i'll usually put it in vti just because it's the total stock market and i know some people are like it's not actually the total stock market the next thing that i am invested in is called one q one q is a fidelity etf that corresponds to the performance of the nasdaq stock exchange and the reason why i actually really like this one is it pays a really nice dividend one q within my roth ira makes up about 11 percent of the funds in my roth ira but it makes up about 3.4% of my entire stock portfolio. And the next thing I'm invested in is FIENX, which is Fidelity's International Index Fund. This one has been a pain in my butt since I bought it. I bought it because honestly, when I took Dave Ramsey, he talked about like diversifying your investments and being international, which I totally agree with. And not that I regret purchasing this, but this has pretty much been in the red since I bought it. Not everything is going to go up and I needed to diversify my portfolio because it was so centralized in North America but this index fund makes up 7.4 percent of the funds in my Roth IRA and it makes up about 2.4 percent of my entire portfolio and I do want to note that these the first three I was talking about, VTI, 1Q, and FIENX, I own those stocks in another part of my stock portfolio, so I don't just have it in my Roth IRA. And before I go on, if you guys have found this video helpful, please go ahead and click the subscribe button below. It really helps to support my channel and click the like button below. And with that said, let's jump back into it. So the next stock that I own is Lululemon. I have talked about Lululemon before. I love Lululemon stock. I love Lululemon the product. I love Lululemon the business model. Let me just show you. I have a problem. This isn't even all of it. Ugh, I love all of them. I'm just gonna keep them right here so we can just enjoy the Lululemon. It just looks like a pile of clothes. All right, let's come back. Back to what I was talking about before. Lululemon makes up about 5% of my Roth IRA, which is about 1.5% of my entire stock portfolio. The next stock I'm invested in is Aptech. Aptech is an ETF that represents the performance of the IT sector in the U.S. equity market. That makes up 4.3% of my entire Roth IRA portfolio and 1.3% of my entire stock portfolio. The next stock I'm invested in is Disney. Disney makes up about 4% of my entire Roth IRA and 1.2% of my entire stock portfolio. And the next stock that I'm invested in is American Express. It makes up 2.8% of my Roth IRA and 0.8% nine percent of my um, entire stock market portfolio and then the last little bit is cash that makes up 0.7 percent and that's mostly just money from dividends that i haven't reinvested yet one thing i want you guys to notice which i'll be talking about in a little bit is that 88 percent of my roth ira is invested in etfs or index funds so that's vti 1q fienx and aftech all of those are ETFs or index funds and I will be talking a little bit more about this later in my when I talk about my investment strategy within my Roth IRA. So this is just a breakdown of the type of fund or stock that each thing I'm invested in. So AXP is American Express, Disney, and Lulu. Those are the only individual stocks that I'm invested in. And then FTech, FINX, 1Q, and VTI are all ETFs or index funds. And so it's kind of a blend between large growth and a large blend. So Okay, now I want to go into sort of my investment strategy behind my Roth IRA. Honestly, because my Roth IRA is a retirement account just like anybody's, the goal of the whole account is to invest for the long term, which in general is my investment strategy anyways. Like I'm not someone who buys and sells and buys and sells. Like usually if I buy something, I'm holding onto it for a while. That being said, and that being said that my Roth IRA is probably a little bit more conservative than my brokerage account. I am a little aggressive with within my retirement account. However, I do buy and sell within my Roth IRA, even though it is technically supposed to be an investment account for the long term. That's why you'll see a few individual stocks in my Roth IRA. And honestly, this is mostly just because when I wanted to get into the market earlier this year, the cash that I had available was in my Roth IRA. So that's really the only reason why those individual stocks are in my Roth IRA. What else did I wanna talk about? Oh yeah, one of the things that people commented when I was talking about my entire 
$100,000 stock portfolio is that they were interested in seeing how much I've actually invested versus how much it has actually grown, which I'm not sure why I didn't include that, but I'm going to include that here. In this chart, you can see like the current value of each of the stocks that I have invested in my Roth IRA. So cash, I just have about $200. American Express, I have almost 900. Disney, I have about 1300. F-Tech, also about 1300. Lulu, I have about 1600. FIENX, I have about 2300. 1Q, I have about 3400. And VTI, I have a little bit over 20,000. I'm on my computer, I don't know if you guys can tell. And so the total for that is a little bit over $30,000. It's $31,432.67 as of when I'm filming this video. And this column is the cost basis total. That's basically what I paid for each of these stocks. And so all of the cash I have in there is, I'm pretty sure either residual from not investing it earlier this year or money I've gotten from dividends, probably a blend of the two. So for American Express, the value of it right now is a little bit over $1,000. For Disney, it's about $1,200. F-Tech is about almost $1,100. Lulu, I originally invested about $1,200. FIENX, I originally invested $2,500. 1Q, I originally invested about $2,500. And VTI, I originally invested about $17,000. So this is all of the money that I actually put into my Roth IRA, and that's about $27,000. That includes me maxing out my Roth IRA since 2017 and then also the money that I rolled over from my Roth 403B from my previous employer. And so that makes up the growth, which totals about $4,500. The two pain in my booties right now are American Express and FIENX. Those have both been in the red. Can't win them all. You're never going to win them all, so don't try to win them all. American Express, I've lost about $170. Disney, I've made about $50. F-Tech, I've made about $280. Lulu, I've made about $330. FIENX, like I was talking about before, I've lost about $180. And I'm also invested in that in another account. So I've lost more money in that stock as well. 1Q, I have made almost $900. And in VTI, I've made over $3,000. And so what this is not including is the dividends that I've received from each of these funds. 1Q gives out a really good dividend, which is one of the other benefits of having it so not only have I made like a decent amount of money from it I've also received a pretty good dividend I do want to note as I've pretty much talked about in every video that money it is not everything like I'm honestly telling you guys like yes these are cool videos to see what other people have invested in their Roth IRA but like they're they're just numbers and you can't get too obsessed with the numbers because money at the end of the day is just a tool to be used and I truly believe that that it's just been given to me by God to steward in a way that glorifies him. And so for me, saving money is a goal, yes, but it's also a goal for me to be generous and to be charitable, which I've talked about in a lot of my videos. If you guys have seen my other videos, my plan is to share my Roth 401k with you guys also, which is going to be definitely a lot different because that's through my employer. There's just different index funds and stocks I can invest within my 401k because it's through my employer and they have more limited options. But that video is going to be coming out soon, very soon. So definitely go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you haven't checked out my entire $100,000 stock portfolio, you can go ahead and click right here. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will catch you guys next Monday. Bye guys. Why can I not talk today? Probably not going to go in the video. Um, what do I want to talk about?